Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, May 21st, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across schooner feature? Well, a schooner's a kind of a sailing ship, right? There's so many sailing terms. It could be like mast or keel. I don't know if there's something specific to a schooner that other ships don't have. Eccentrics? I would love if that was oddballs, but that's too long. Weirdos? That would fit. <laughs> Is it going to be weirdos? Hmm. This sailing term starts with a W, if that's right. I don't know about that. Tongue-in-cheek. Hmm. I don't know about weirdos. Impetus behind a prank, maybe. Like a reason why you would do a prank? I don't know. April 1st, maybe? Refuse to talk. I really want that to be clam up. Yeah, I want it more than I want weirdos to be right. Okay, let's put in clam up. And then maybe we can build off that on some of these downs here. Some bars returned to again and again. And this is wordplay. This feels like a musical misdirection here. Um, <laughs> shoot, I really want this to be chorus. Because the chorus of a song is repeated over and over again. Those would be bars that would be returned to, right? Hmm. This could be up at the end still. Hmm. Sleep Aid Brand? Uh, isn't Unisom a sleep aid? I think it is, like a drug of some kind. I'm like 50-50 on that one. Source of heart-shaped leaves. Hmm. Heart-shaped leaves. I don't know, that UN looks a little weird there. Tongue-in-cheek could be arch, maybe. Yeah, that's kind of like a way to describe someone being ironic, right? Oh, this ends in a C, though. That's a little weird. Small but full of fight. It's not fierce. Huh. Victim of a 20th century environmental tragedy. 20th century. Hmm. Is it actually going to be a person or like an area maybe oh man what's this little one here lead in to a crazy idea hmm boy this is a hard little corner to start out with here eccentrics i mean could it be mad caps I feel like Madcaps is more like antics, not necessarily a person. A crazy idea. Name on a vintage red, white, and blue cap. Vintage. I wonder if this is baseball. Hmm. I mean, the Expos had a red, white, and blue cap, and they're not around anymore. But they were the Montreal Expos, and that doesn't even come close to fitting here. Hmm. I really do want this to be baseball somehow, though. Hmm. This is... If it is Madcaps, that could be Clam Up again. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's themes. Yeah, there we go, because themes are in music too and they get returned to. Okay. Maybe we're starting to iron out this corner here. Maybe the impetus behind a prank could be a dare. This could be a mast. That's kind of the most straightforward answer I was thinking there. 
Um, hmm. A roll? Hmm. There's a a C called the Aral C, I think, right? Hmm. Okay, this could be scrappy. Small but full of fight. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, is this Pepsi? I mean, I guess it's vintage because it's been around for a long time. Maybe it's Pepsi Cola. I guess they don't have the cola on there anymore. Maybe that's what makes it vintage. Okay, maybe this is an aspen tree? Oh, and it is the Aral Sea. Okay, so it's not a person that's a victim. It's a body of water. Okay, and then lead into crazy idea. It's say? So is it like you're positing it just as like a hypothetical? like? Say I did this, would that be crazy? I, I think maybe that's what it is. This doesn't make 100% sense to me, but I think that's a way to explain it. Conductive to mold, maybe? That could be damp. That's a perfect breeding ground for mold. Shock treatment for short. Uh, I want this to be defibrillation. Um, is it defib? That could be a way to abbreviate it. Like when you get your heart shocked if you go into cardiac arrest, yeah. Okay, so sad, an equivalent phrase. It's not alas. It's not a lack. I don't think BK would make sense. Okay, database, and this is wordplay. It's not about Lieutenant Commander Data, is it? I don't think so. Hmm. Is it like a base pair in DNA? That's kind of data, right? In DNA. But I don't, hmm, I don't think so. Not if defib is right. Org established partly in response to Rachel Carson's Silent Spring. That was about like the environmental impacts of certain chemicals, right? So I imagine this is probably the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. The Tannin of Tannenbaum. Um, hmm. I think it's a uh, fir because I think Tannenbaum means fir tree in German. Okay, so let's put in fir. Hmm. Maybe this could be a pity. That's a good equivalent there. One going the distance. And this is more wordplay. This is looking like it's going to be marathoner, right? That person is definitely going the distance. One might consist of a primo, secondo, and digestivo. It's got to be Italian, right? Um, maybe an Italian meal? Maybe those are courses in an Italian meal? That could be. Okay. So maybe database is bites because... At a base level, data is made up of bytes of information. Very tricky. Figure on a driver's license. Um, it's not height. It's got to be a three-letter abbreviation. Hmm. A ton of bricks. More wordplay. I love it. Uh, it's so it's not just something really heavy. Is it like bricks, like in basketball, when you th throw up a brick, it's like a really bad shot? I don't know about that. Hmm. Like water at the shallow end of a pool. Hmm. Is it like a little warmer or something? Huh. Muckety muck? I think a muckety muck is like a, it's kind of like an influential person or somebody in a position of authority. Uh, it's not a nabob. Honcho? Hmm. Quarters that could be worth a lot. 
This really smells like wordplay. I don't know if it's about currency quarters. It could be about like living quarters. Maybe it could be condos. It's a little too short. Hmm. Brownie mix add in often. Uh, I think traditionally you add one egg if you get the box mix, if my memory serves. Playoff positions. That should be births. You get births in playoffs usually, right? Subject of the 2011 John Roberts memoir, American Desperado with the John Roberts. Hmm. Is it the mob? I haven't heard of John Roberts. I don't think this is the Supreme Court justice. I think that's a different kind of spelling of John. Oh, well, this could be like manners, right? Like big estates. Yeah, that could be, those are quarters. Those are living quarters that would be worth a lot, right? Nice, we were on the right track there. That's great. Okay, a stamp collector's purchase could be a pain. That's like a sheet of stamps. Ooh, muckety muck could be a poobah. Ooh, I love that one. That's a great term. Yeah, very nice. Okay, ways down could be, oh, whoops. Something's wrong here. Uh, this should be, wait, if this is manners, Oh, wait, no, Manners only has one. Manners only has one N. Wait a minute, so maybe this is... Mance's? No, that's still... Hmm. It's not Mansion. Oh, maybe it is. Wait. Maybe it is Mansion. Okay, same idea, but... Spelled correctly this time. Okay, so yeah, this is bogs down. Very good. Um, less high? <laughs> no, that can't be right. Okay, no, it's waist high. Good. Okay, yeah, they're not comparing it. Okay, they're just describing. Okay, so maybe it is height. Is it HGT? A ton of bricks? Is it a Lego set? I guess it's not literally a ton. It's not 2,000 pounds. It's just a lot of bricks would be a Lego set. Okay. Very nice. Prognosis that a problem has only just begun. Hmm. Prognosis. Is this something you'd hear from a doctor? I don't think so. It's probably just like a general prognosis. Sunburn soothing substance. That should be aloe gel, maybe. Leading to P or C on a PC. Uh, hmm. I was going to say control, but what is control P? I guess that's a print command and control C is copy. Yeah, maybe that's right. Let's put in control. Part of an old circus act. That's got to be a strong man, right? Yeah, he's got his leopard skin leotard on and everything, right? Okay. Uh, worry, maybe? Is this an R? Realm of the Valkyries. Hmm. This is like Norse mythology, right? Norse myth. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just said it. Okay. Okay, I was thinking it was going to be like Valhalla or something. Okay. Uh, worse? So this would be an E. 2007 film with the tagline, The Last Man on Earth is Not Alone. Uh, I think that was I Am Legend, the Will Smith movie, right? Based on... Um, it was based on a book, right? I think the Omega Man was based on the same story, right? I Am Legend. It was definitely based off of a sci-fi book. I can't remember the author. Peer of Ibsen. 
I think this is a writer. GYN though, I have no idea who that is. Oh wait, unless this is a mountain where the ring is destroyed in the Lord of the Rings. Oh, I guess it is a mountain. That was Mount Doom, right? Cast it into the fire, Isildur. Man, what a chump that guy was. Okay. Dish rack accessories. Tea towels, right? Yeah, for drying. Very nice. Okay, so maybe this is worse to come. <laughs> That's a very bad prognosis, yeah. Constant reminders. Wordplay. Constant? Hmm. Like a mathematical constant? Recovering orthopedically, maybe. Hmm. It looks like it wants to start with in. Maybe like in a cast? Yeah, I think that may be right. Orthopedics is like bones and joints, right? Be a rat? That could be sing. If you're ratting on someone, you're talking to the police, you're singing like a canary. Okay. Fit to be tried. Not fit to be tied. Fit to be tried like a court case, maybe? Line at a clothing store. Hmm. I don't know if this is like a brand of clothing. It might literally be like a line somehow. Like maybe you're standing in line for something. Eel order at a sushi bar. I think eel is unagi, so that'd be an unagi roll. <laughs> Constant reminders. Is that... Naggers? Like people that are constantly reminding? I think that works okay. Hmm. This could be an inseam. Okay, so it is a, a line on a piece of clothing. Five across administrator. Defib administrator? That could be an emergency medical technician. Colleen? Is Colleen... A generic word for a girl or a woman? Could be a lass, right? Maybe it's a Scottish name. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. That's interesting. <laughs> Is this suable? <laughs> like able to be sued? Uh, is that really a word? This is looking like it would be ascetic. Severely self-disciplined sort. Yeah, that's an ascetic, all right, okay. Is this really suable? I don't know about that. Men's grooming items. Beard combs, maybe? Yeah. That would be for men. Unless you've got the bearded lady hanging out with the uh, strong man. She would need a beard comb, too. Okay. Toxic protein prepared on Breaking Bad. I think that was ricin. I did see Breaking Bad. I think I remember that. Investors, no deal. Is it just I'm out? Hmm. Makeover result maybe could be a new me? I would want it to be new you, but it has to be a two letter word at the end there. Run like a deer. And this is deer with an E at the end of it. So that's a John Deere most likely. So that would be mow, because they make mowers. Homie? That should be a bud, right? So maybe it's not new me, maybe it's a new do, like a new hairdo. And then this could be bud, and then this should be a T, right? El de Aqui? Hmm. I don't know what language this is. L. I want to say it's maybe... Italian? I'm not sure actually. Was it would it fit with our Italian meal here? Osto? Hmm. I don't know about that one. Gives birth to as puppies. Hmm. How do you describe giving birth to like as a dog would? Huh. I'm
I'm kind of blanking on that one. I think I might know it with some crossing help. Land sakes alive. An equivalent phrase. Oh, gods or something. This can't be a G though. Get back together. That could be re something. Re meets. Ooh. Competitor of Dick Sporting Goods is REI. Another sporting goods chain. Right a la Thomas Gray or John Dunn. Hmm. I know John Dunn was a poet. Is this going to be some sort of style that they wrote in? Ah, an equivalent phrase could be, I see now, like you're realizing something. Go on and on bitterly. Hmm. I would want that to be like carp or something. You're like complaining about something. Mario who wrote The Godfather. I think that's Mario Puzo, right? On the posters, it always said Mario Puzo's The Godfather. I remember that. Sir might be found at the start of it. Maybe Sir Loin? It's a little tricky there. Um, appear. Materialize? Hmm. Maybe this is Welp? Welps? Yeah. Because I think you can call newborn puppies whelps, right? So maybe it could be a verb also. Whelps, yeah. Um, hmm. It's not re-meets. Or re-meet. Yeah, that would be too short anyway. Hmm. We have a Z here, though. Elegize, maybe? If you're writing an elegy... Like writing a poem in honor of something. That's nice. Okay, so maybe this could be stew. Go on and on bitterly. That's pretty good. Yeah, up here could be emerge. Is this OG? <laughs> That's not quite as interesting as land sakes alive. Yeah. I don't know if the connotation is quite the same there. Get back together. Regrout. <laughs> Uh, is that what it is? I guess if you regrout bricks, you'd be kind of getting them back together. That seems weird. What else could it be though? All right, let's put in T here and let's put in G and see if we can get lucky on some last letter guesses here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can pinpoint our mistake. I just took another look at this answer and I just noticed if you put a P at the end, it could be regroup and that works a lot better than regrout. And then this could be spew, like you're spewing invective or something, right? Yeah, I think that's got to be where our mistake was. Oh, and also when I was going through, I noticed we didn't talk about this. Gint? I have no idea. Must be another writer, but I don't think I've ever heard of them. Peter Gint? I don't know. Is that is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never heard of this. Okay. Let's put a P in here and see if that finishes us off. Nice. All right. We got in under the 30 minute mark. That's pretty good. That's faster than yesterday's time, at least. I really liked this one. Um, yeah, there's some really nice language in here, which is kind of the only thing I'm looking for on Friday and Saturday puzzles. So... This is great. We've got Marathoner, Strongman, Norse Myth, I Am Legend, Beard Combs. <laughs> that's kind of fun. I am like this. Whelps, that's a great piece of language. Elegize is nice too. Madcaps and Scrappy. A lot of this is really good. And we had a lot of good wordplay. Um, yeah, like this. Themes. Yeah, th that kind of stuff is great. I think this is really strong. Yeah, one going the distance is pretty good. Lego set. Yeah, so much wordplay here. 
yeah, I enjoyed this one thoroughly, even though I had a little bit of trouble in this corner here. Um, I really should have seen this. Regrout just does not make sense. So yeah, I enjoyed this one pretty much all the way through with a couple little hiccups, but yeah, not enough to spoil it. This was a really fun puzzle. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Friday puzzle as well. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow with the hardest puzzle of the week this Saturday. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.